Hey everyone, this is Carol J. Dunlop, your online wild strategist and Amazon number one international best-selling author. How you doing today? This is Friday, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made it to the end of the week, the last day. Don't make me break out and start singing because I am not a singer. I am a online wild strategist. How about that? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is going good. Um, I am coming to you today. And I am going to be sharing on multiple platforms because, as I had told you or shared with you the last couple of weeks, that um, my internet connection where I am is not the best. So I'm putting and have put into the universe that I'm moving, moving into a much better space, much better place. Why can't I find my... Thing. Here we go. Better space, better place with super fast internet so that I can go live like I want to. I actually, if you want to believe this note, I actually ordered um, some whew, some broadcasting stuff. It's, it's coming in the mail. So we're going to be talking about today about not quitting. So I guess I can do that while I'm looking to share this thing because my thing is spinning round and round and round. Not quitting. You know what? You can't quit. I'm just going to tell you, you can't quit. And why is that? Because you're needed out there. Your expertise, your knowledge, your experience, what you do is very much needed. People need to see you. They need to know what you're doing. They want to follow you. They want your wisdom and your experience because they need it. People are hurting. People um, need stuff. And, and as you can see on my phone right now, I am sharing I'm live oh, talking about not quitting, not quitting, because I had some reason to quit today. Um, my husband wasn't feeling well. I had, I had an instance yesterday, um, I mean a meeting that I needed to go to yesterday and I wasn't able to do it because of something else that came up. It's always come, something coming up in life, right? And then um, today I was supposed to go to Nadine Mullings Power Up Brunch, which I love those things. And I wasn't able to because um, my husband, like I said, my husband wasn't feeling well, so I can't leave my hubby stranded. And so I wasn't able to do that. But it allowed me to kind of be here and I'm sharing in a couple of groups. So hold, hold on one second. It allowed me to be here, be, be here for my husband and really be here for my clients and do some stuff that I was going to have to like, you know, crunch and do when I needed to do. But I got it done, honey. I am so excited. I got it done. Where's my other? There we go. Just give me like 30 seconds. And I'll have this done. Now, let, let me talk about when I move. When I move to the place that I'm going to move to, I won't have to do all this. Hey, Lugenia, how you doing? I, when I move to the place that I'm going to move to, I won't have to do all this sharing. It'll all be set up. I'll be able to be on Live like I want to and all that. But for now, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. So, and I got one one more thing to share. We're going to get right into Greetings, greetings, Virginia. I'm gl I'm so glad you could make it here because I know you've been ripping and running today trying to get some things done. So just hold on one second. And I apologize for having to share, but you know sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, let's get into this content. Thank thank you so much for the hearts. Let's get into this content. I'm talking about almost quitting, not quitting. You can't quit. You are needed. God has given you a purpose. He's given you a reason to be here, a reason to do what you're doing, and you must complete the mission. If you don't complete the mission, all those other people that are behind you that are waiting for you to come up, waiting for you to come out there, are going to miss out. And they won't be able to complete their mission because you're not completing your mission. Does that make sense? So if... I had to look at things and, and say, well, you know, my husband wasn't feeling good or 
you know, some, something came up yesterday. I couldn't go to the thing I wanted to go to. And I could sit and mope, oh, poor me, you know, get the little wine and the cheese out and, you know, play that little song. No, I went on and last night I prayed. I prayed really hard. I was like, God, you know the things that I have to do. You know the, the thing that I am tasked with. So I have to complete this. And God just said, you know, it's so funny. Like when we just ask God for what we really want and we don't think, okay, God, you could do it this way. God, you could do it that way. Hey, how about this right here? We just say, God, this is what I want. This is what I need. And then he fulfills it because that's the way he works. He doesn't work from us. You know, he doesn't need that co-pilot thing. We don't need to be his co-pilot. He is doing the thing. So today my prayers were answered even more than I even thought they could be answered. And I was so grateful. I still am grateful. I'm, I'm on a high. So I was supposed to do this live yesterday on Thursdays. Couldn't get it done. You know, like I said, some things came up. But I was like, I'm doing it today and I'm sharing it everywhere that I can because I have a message. God put a message in my heart and he wants me to get out there and share this. So we're talking about not quitting. And believe it or not, there have been more than more than a couple people who have contacted me this week uh, to talk about, you know, they're just about quitting. They're about at the end of the rope. They can't go on. They're going to not do what they were purposed to do or what they thought they were purposed to do because it's not working for some reason. Oh, perfect story. I've been sharing this in a couple of groups. Uh, one of my unmarketing inner circle members was uh, we were on our call on Tuesday and she had a. Um, she has an event that's coming up in a couple of weeks and she said, I, I just think I'm going to, I mean, she was defeated. She was defeated like somebody had poured a bunch of uh, mud on her or something. And she was like, I think I'm going to have to like cancel this thing. I'm not going to be able to do it. I've only sold two tickets. I only got two weeks. And thank God for Lori Manns being on there and this wonderful, awesome group of women that are in the Unmarketing Inner Circle group. We all banded together. Lori gave her some tips and tricks. All of us, you know, we put her right there on the hot seat with love and hugs and, you know, a direction and a purpose and a strategy. And like, you need to do this. You should have you tried this. And I've been texting her. Y'all don't even know. I've been texting her all week. I was like, girl, what about doing this right here? Have you done your live? Have you done this? Um, how about this right here? And so today she posted in the group, she was like, transparent moment, I have to let you know that I went from only selling two tickets to now seven. And she has two weeks to go and she sold seven tickets in like three days. What? So that's why I'm telling you, you can't quit. You can't quit because, you know, your husband isn't feeling well or your, your baby is doing whatever or your a significant other is telling you that you're crazy or you'll never amount to anything or the lights went out or the thing needs to be paid. You can't quit. You got to keep on going because God has a purpose for you. So I wanted to put that out there for you. So and let you know that if you feel like quitting, you just can't. I'm sorry, you can't do it. I'm not going to allow you to do it. And when you feel like quitting again, you either message me and say, Carol, I'm going to quit. And I, we need to get a strategy together, and I will definitely help you out. So um, I want to let you know, please share this with someone, because this first few minutes about not quitting, a lot of people I know need to hear this. So please share this broadcast with your friends, with your fans, with your followers, with people that you've been trying to connect with, people who just need a good word. Please just share it with them right now. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you for doing this. So let's talk about, okay, you're not going to qu quit, but what are you going to do? How are you going to make this money? That's what I'm here for, because I am a what I say, the online wow strategist. So we're going to talk about the power of collaboration. The power of collaboration, what is that? It is when you work with someone else to attain a goal that both of you want. So you're working together on an event. You're working together on a project. You may work with people you don't even know. Um, today, a gentleman that came to my second Unmarket Your Business launch that was in December that I almost canceled. That's what I'm telling you. You can't quit. He came there. He, he said when I had messaged him, I can't come to this thing, Carol. I, I, I just won't be able to do it. I got too much going on, blah, blah, blah. He messaged me the day of that morning. He said, Carol, I, I can make it. I, can. I was like, go ahead and buy that ticket. Uh, better yet, let me save you some fees. Here's the link right here. He purchased the ticket. He came to the event. He was like, this is totally awesome, Carol. And I, guess what? I want you to talk to my people who need to know about social media and getting their products in stores like Walmart and Target and all that. I was like, whoa, okay, I'll do that. 
guess what? He messaged me today and he said, yes, Lugenia, the power collaboration, honey. Hey, Melissa, how are you? I was just, um, I just wanted to let you know that he messaged me today and he said, Carol, I'm going to be ready to do that thing that we were talking about at the end of March. And that thing that we were talking about is a an event where he's going to invite like 20 to 25 of his top businesses together and he wants me to speak to them. Well, actually, we're going to speak to them together. I'm going to speak to them about social media and he's going to talk to them about getting their products on the shelves and we're going to come up with a program that's going to help them. What? Now, if I had, Harriet, hey, what's up? If I had quit, if I had not had that lunch on that day, he never would have been able to come because he wasn't going to come anyway, right? But at the last minute, he said, something worked out. God, that was all God. And he came to that thing. He heard what I had to say. He got my book. He knew about my book, but he hadn't purchased it yet. And he was like, Carol, this is awesome. This is fantastic. You need to tell my people. Now, if you think about it, do you have products that you want to get into stores like Target and Walmart? What? And you know these people have some, they're putting out some big money. They are. And I do not want them to lose out on money. But he said that the thing is that they're thinking, okay, if I get on Target or Walmart, I've hit the jackpot. It's awesome, right? Uh, kind of. You still got to promote. You got to really... You got to really promote more to keep your product there. So that's what we're going to talk about. So praise God that that happened. Whew, I'm so excited about that. So I'm talking to authors and entrepreneurs. Are you an author or are you an entrepreneur or maybe you're an authorpreneur? An entrepreneur is a person who creates books for a business. Um, that is their business, writing books and creating books. So how can you collaborate? Let's talk about this, authors. Authors, you can collaborate in what's called an um, anthology or a collaboration book. Maybe you're just one author, but you're going to have 10 or 12 chapters. And, you're, and you may say, well, why would I do that? You do that because the power of collaboration. If you're just one person, right, but there are 12, 12 other people in that book, guess what? You get 12 times the publicity. 12 times the promotion power, 12 times anything that you can do by yourself. Actually, I'm, um, I'm in a collaboration book right now called Tech Magic. I'm the lead author, and I'm getting other authors under me. Right now we have about 10, and we're looking for some more. So if you are an author, I want you to comment number one. I'm sorry, not number one, number two. Number two, because I have something for number one that I skipped, and I'm going to go back and say it. <laughs> Comment number two in the comments below if you're an author right now or if you want to be an author. Put number two in the comments. And you can get into a, not just, I mean, you don't have to get in mine, but you get in, can get into a collaboration book. It's like a, a twelfth of the price to produce the thing. Yay! Yes, Melissa, definitely, I know you are. It's a twelfth of the price to produce the thing. Everything's in twelfths and you get to kind of expand right? Not only will people come to get that information from you, but they're going to come to get the information from the other people. And then they land on you and like, oh, what is this person talking about? So that's what Tech Magic. Tech Magic is about um, how business, black business, it's not just black, but it's business women, how we're using technology to move the needle in our business. And we got some awesome people who are in there. I'm so excited about it. It's going to come, look for an, announce, an announcement to come out in, um, the end of March or April, I think is when it's going to come out. So you're actually part of a team and y'all are together. And then, you know, I, I've known some people who have been in anthologies and they're like, well, that didn't do so well for me or I didn't sell that much. Uh, don't let that thing slip through your fingers. There's a power. It's more than just you. There's a power. Y'all get together yourself. Maybe you could do a summit right before or after the book launches. If you got 12 people, 10 people, 15, 20, however many it is, you can do a summit around the subject of that book. And each of you do a call. It can be a video call or it can be an audio call. And y'all put it together, package it, and then put that sucker out there and sell it. You can sell summits like that, $47. You know, you sell for $47 before it launches, $67 the week that the thing launches, and then up to $97 if people miss it. So you got money. And then what happens is you and the other person kind of, you and the other people kind of split it. 
So you get an affiliate link. Whoever comes in through your affiliate link, you get half of that and the person who put it on or whatever. Y'all y'all decide how y'all going to split that up. But you can make some decent money out of it. I mean, every time I run a summit, I make a couple thousand dollars off of it. So I love doing it. Got one coming up soon. I'll let you know about that. So don't sleep on those anthology books. I mean, you got to use that power of all those authors. Everybody putting out a press release that leads to that one page or talks about that one project. I mean, it's, it can be big. So just think about you're this one person, but you got 12 other people who are there. And y'all need to get together and figure out how y'all can, you know, magnify your success because that's how it's supposed to work. Yes, yes, Melissa, do a summit. Girl, I can help you with that. I, I love summits. I think they're awesome, and they're a great list builder for your business or whoever participates in that for your business. And it's a great way to get out there in front of the book or even after the book launches and uh, get more publicity for it. Okay, so you're an entrepreneur. How can you take advantage of this collaboration? Well, I told you about um, the um, Inner Circle member who used all of us to get ideas and tips and, col and um, collaboration advice about her event, right? So you can do that with other people, other entrepreneurs. Or maybe you want to put on an event together. I have put on several events with several different clients and people who became clients, JV partners, and I've made money from it, you know? I have an event coming up, um, a master class that is coming up at the end of, it's next week. It's next Thursday. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. But I have actually, I've got affiliates who are out there marketing for me. And guess what? They get 50% of the, of the um, when I sell something, they get 50% of that. So that's how the affiliates work. You don't have to give them 50. You can give them 20 or 30. But I like to give my affiliates 50% because the thing is, if they're marketing for me and they bring in somebody who pays, and it's a group thing where it's not going to... Um, impact me where I have to do even more work because this one person came in then why not give them money because people will work for you and it's a sale it's a sale that you wouldn't have anyway so I like to be very generous with my affiliates it's always worked for me it's worked really good and have people who have been affiliates for me for several years with my programs so that is um, two ways authors get on an anthology book and if you don't know an anthology book to get on honey uh, you just ain't looking because there's a whole bunch of them out there and they range all the way from they may start at a thousand dollars fifteen hundred but that's probably a drop in the bucket in what as to what you would pay to produce your own book and, and they're different prices some of them are just 500 it, it just depends it depends on the size it depends on who who's doing it i've seen them go as high as ten thousand dollars now that's a big wig folks that are doing that so you know, just look at it and make sure that it's going to reach your audience. If the if the anthology is going to reach your audience, hey, go ahead and do it, right? If the summit is going to reach your audience, go ahead and do it. Or create. don't wait for somebody to do it. You do it yourself. Because it's you, if you're the lead in doing the thing, then guess who gets the bulk of the money and the publicity? You do. Yes, Melissa, you're right. It depends on what you get with it when you're doing the anthology or the summit. Hey, Melinda, what's going on? Good to see you. Okay, so this is the number one thing that you need to do to make your business successful or your book successful right now. And you can start doing this right when we get off of this thing. And I actually saw an article about this last night and I was reading it and my husband was like get off of that darn phone and I'm like okay I'll, um, but I, I, I was able to read all of it okay so the article said and I can't even remember what the thing was but I think it was DIYmarket.com or something but um, the thing said the, the article said that most people ignore the number one way that they can get sales because they don't want to do it or they don't feel like they want to bother people or they don't want to feel like they are a pest or whatever. And that is connecting with people that you know. So just think about your audience. Who, who is your audience? And I always talk about that. You got to know your audience, right? But who is your audience? Who are they? You know, uh, what do they like to do? How old are they? You know, how much money do they make and all that stuff. But did you know that your immediate circle of people that you know can help you find your audience? 
Now your sister, your mother, your brother, your aunt, your cousin, your, the girl next door, the woman down the street, the man at the, at the liquor store where you go buy your wine every Friday night, they know you, but they may not be in your target market. But guess what? They have a circle of influence of people who they know. So if you reach out to those people, I'm talking about the people you really know. You know, you can talk to them and say, hey, this is Carol. Hey, Carol, how you doing? Not the people that you go, hey, this is Carol. They don't I'm the online wild strategy. And they're like, click. Not those people. I'm talking about the people that you really know. When you say hi to them, they know you. Connect with them and say, I am trying to do this. I'm reaching out to these type of people. Can you help me? Most people, if they're your friend or if they know you or if they are the least bit interested in what you're doing, they'll say, hmm, I don't need that service right now, but I know someone who does. Perfect example here. Now, I talk about Facebook all the time, right? I got a lot of clients on Facebook. I get a lot of my clients on Facebook. Most of my energies go to Facebook. One of, one of my longtime friends and colleagues uh, contacted me yesterday, and she's like, Carol, thank you so much for that referral. I'm like, what referral are you talking about, girl? She said that this lady contacted her from a post that I replied to in a group that I'm a part of on Facebook. <laughs> Who'd have thunk, right? And I recommended her because she's the best there is. As, as you know, she's, I've worked with her before, and she's a lawyer. She's a business attorney. And I think someone was looking for it, and I was like, hey, I got the number one business attorney in Atlanta for you. I've worked with her. She's awesome sauce, and you should contact her. And the lady did. And she, and. Linda called me. She was like, Carol, thank you so much for that referral. She is a gem to work with, and thank you for doing that. Child, I don't even remember how long ago. That, I mean, uh, it was like a month or so, but I don't remember exactly when it was. But I know people who want to do business with other people, right? I may not be in that, that other woman's target market, but she asked a question, and I helped her find someone who could help her get some things done. So how many of you are sitting on those type of people? Your mama, your sister, your next door neighbor, your friend down the street, the one you chit chat with online all the time and have never met. Have you ever asked them, hey, do you know somebody who is in need of, you know, fill in the blank, whatever it is that you do? And if they say, yeah, I do, then say, hey, um, you know, point them my way or, you know, give me their number or, or send them my number or whatever. Referrals and, and not just like referrals, you're just trying to get your name out there. Referrals from people who trust you because guess what? They're breaking down that barrier for you. And they're saying, hey, I know this person. They're an awesome sauce. They're, they're totally going to do what you want to do, and you need to talk to them. And they're going to like, oh, okay. Because who wants to, you know, you know how it is when you're trying to research something. You're trying to get something done. You've you got a pain you're trying to get rid of. You ain't got time to be looking around, especially like, for instance, if you want a great dentist. My dentist is uh, Dr. Brenda Pollen. She's in Cobb County. She is awesome sauce. I had a jacked up mouth, and she helped me out. I got Invisalign. I wore it for a year. Now my teeth are awesome. Uh -huh. I love her, and I'll refer her to anybody because she is totally great, right? So if anybody says to me, do you know a good dentist? I'm like, yeah, Dr. Brenda Pollen, you need to go to her, tell her about my story, what happened, blah, 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 blah. You know, that type of stuff. How many people are you sleeping on that you need to talk to about that? You have not asked them. Do you know somebody who do you know? Can you refer me to somebody who help me out, child? You know, so what I want you to do and when we get off of this um, live, I want you to make a list of every single person, you know, I'm, ta I'm talking about really know if you said hello to them, they go, hey, Melinda, hey, Melissa, how you doing? Make a list of those people. You would be surprised at how many it is. That's actually what I did when I um, I'm going to show you right now. That's what I did when I was reaching out to people for the tech magic thing. Let me show you my little book right here. Where is it? So, all right, there we go. What I did was I made a list of, see all these people? Can you see it? See all these people right here? All these people. And I went down the line and I contacted them. I emailed them or I messaged them or I, phone, or I picked up the old telephone and said, hello, hey, so-and-so, how you doing? Would you like to be in this book? This is a fantastic opportunity. And, you know, I got some people who said, no, thanks, Carol. This is awesome. But, you know, I'll let you know. And then I said, if you, if you don't want to do it, let me know some other people. They let me know some other people. 
I've got a, another list of people I need to contact who are referred to me from other people. So we're trying to get some more people in this book. we got about 10 slots open. You know I'm going to be calling them, right? So that's how I built my business, right? That's how I collaborate. And I, I haven't ever met a stranger, not really. You know, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll reach out to you. And you may say, well, Carol, how do I reach out to these people? And I just email them. No, child, don't just email them. You need to message them on Facebook. I mean, a Facebook message, a private message, or a DM them on Instagram, a direct message, or Twitter, if you, can, if you know them, right? Or you can uh, text them. If you've got their phone number, text them. Bing, 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 text them. Or if you have their actual uh, phone number, you, you can actually call them through Facebook. You can call them through Skype. You can message them and set up a Zoom call with them. Or you can use a plain old telephone, hello, and call them. Right? Don't be sleeping on these people. These people know us. They want to help us. And while we're suffering and crying and putting our face in the, in the ice cream or whatever we're doing, people are out there wanting to help us. You know, they are waiting they're sitting on somebody we should be knowing right now. And all it takes is a little message from one of us to say, hey, so-and-so, how you doing? You know, I haven't talked in a minute. Do you know so-and-so? I'm trying to find some people, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, child, I know somebody. Let me put you in touch with. Blah, blah. Or no, I don't know anybody, but I'll keep on the lookout. And then when that time comes up, that's like, hey, so-and-so was just looking for somebody like this. Let me tell them right now. You see how easy that is? It's personal. You know, you can reach out to people right now and tell them, I was looking for you, or I know somebody who could help you, or I know somebody who knows somebody who can help you. That's how things get done. That is, and that is the power of collaboration. And that's only one of the things that I've used to build my business, to be successful in my business, and to not quit my business. How many people right now, Give me a one in the comments if you wanted to quit, maybe in the last like 30 days. Put a one in the comment if you wanted to quit that business, leave what you're doing, get out of it, saying, oh my God, it's too hard, I can't do this thing. And guess what? You didn't quit. You are right here doing what you're supposed to do. You're here because God made you to be here right now. He put you on purpose and on fire and he put that fire in your soul and he said, you got to go out and do this thing because he wouldn't let you sleep. He wouldn't let you quit. There was a reason that the lady I was telling you about in the group, there was a reason that she waited till we got on the call in the group to say, I think I'm going to cancel this event. And there was a reason that we were all together. All the right people were in the right place at the right time because God orchestrated that. And now she's on her way to a sellout event. And I can't wait till I see that it's sold out because I know it's going to be sold out. There was a reason that I didn't quit on my um, live oh, launch for my book. There was a reason that somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do last night so I could do it for them today. There was a reason. There was a God-purposed reason. You are here for a reason. You know, thank you. Thank you for the hearts. You are here for a reason, and God put you right here in this place, at this time, right now, to make a difference in somebody's life. Because like I said before, if you quit, the people that are behind you, they have nothing. They are on their own. They are left wandering in the desert. How can I do this? i give you a perfect example. This is so funny and kind of not funny. I, there's a new show on um, Fox called The Passage. I didn't think I would like it, but I totally love that show. It's totally awesome. It's really about vampires. I'm not a vampire person, but it just happened that I love the show, the premise and stuff like that. So I watch my, my husband and I watch it. And um, the, vamp the vampires, you know, the old thing about vampires, if they bite you, you're going to turn into a vampire and you're actually in their tribe, right? Well, one of the vampire things escaped and they found him and then they killed him. And then all the people that he had made into vampires died. So if you think about that, your tribe is made from you. So if you stop, guess what your tribe does? They die. They stop. They can't move forward. They have no leader. So you can't quit. I'm just sorry, child. You can't quit. It's not in your DNA. God did not put you here to quit. He put you here to be successful. 
He put you here to make the money that you're supposed to make so you can live the life that you want. That's why God put you here. All right. I don't know this message. You know how those preachers say this message is for somebody. It's for me. <laughs> so I wouldn't quit. But it's for you, too. And I want you to take that knowledge and I want you to run with it. I want you to go out there and do your doggone thing, whatever it is. If it's an event or um, if it's finishing that book or if it's maybe it's writing that email or if it's calling or texting or messaging that next person. Because I'm telling you, you don't know whew, how influential people can be in your life. They were probably on the verge of quitting themselves and you called them and you said, hey, child, I'm doing this event. It's going to empower you. I'm writing this book. It's going to help you. I just sent this email and it's going to stop you from doing that thing you shouldn't be doing. They're like, thank God that I got that email, read that book, went to that event or answered your message because whew, I was about to lose it. That's that's the power of what you do to people. So now I have told you. Your number one thing you need to be doing, that's connecting with the people you didn't even think about connecting with. You got your pen and paper out. You're making that list. Make that list of all the people that you know, and then don't stop there. I want you to connect with them, either email them or text them or message them or pick up that old phone and give them a nice phone call. You know, let them know that you care about them, that you need them for something, that they can help you, you know, because we all want to help. And the other thing I want you to do is I want you to sign up for my master class. My master class is coming up next Thursday. Yeah. Guess what I'm going to be telling you? I just told you about just one strategy you can use to be successful in your business and get your book out there. I have seven more. That's not even one of them. I have seven more. Did you hear me? Seven more that I'm going to be sharing on that master class. And it's not going to be one of those master classes where you just come and you're just, yeah, she, you know, she talking some stuff. I take a few notes. Huh, put these notes up here. I'll do them one day. No, we're going to be taking notes. We're going to be writing. We're going to be doing. And so I want you in that master class. And you can get, and it's absolutely free. It's absolutely free. All you got to do is go to csicorporation.com forward slash authority MC. CSICorporation.com forward slash authority MC. Sign up right now and I'll see you on Thursday night. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be fantabulous. So you got your list. You got your, you know, your marching orders. You know what you got to do. So let me know when that stuff happens. When that email that you send, that book that you wrote, or that uh, event that you put on, when it touched somebody and said, oh, my God, where have you been? I've been waiting all my life for you, and I'm so glad you did this. Then you'll know that's the reason that you did not quit, right? That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Go grab your seat in the master class. I'm actually going to put it in the comments, and I will see you there on Thursday night. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend.